Hey there guys, today I don't need to say what we're doing, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. So I'm gonna start by clicking level one. Okay, so it takes me to this level one and how I actually um, know my levels is um, the number of spaces. So this is one space and this match level one. So if I enter this area, I'm going to go to level two, as you can see two spaces, and I'm just going to enter level three. So three spaces, if I hit enter here, I come back here, and you're gonna see that these three guys are open and this fourth one isn't. But if I go to level three and I complete level three. Okay, so we're in level 4 and here is level 4, so you can go back to level 4. Now we can enter level 4, so this is what we're going to be doing, how to lock and unlock levels. So let's go right into it. So um, I have a simple game here where if I run it, I have level 1, 2, 3 and 4. You can see um, I'm clicking these guys and nothing is coming, um, they're not changing things or anything, and we're going to do all that in code. So first off, I want to show you um, how my levels are placed, it's just a grid, okay. Um, in a level scene, a grid and all my four buttons here. So one thing you want to do is you want to name these buttons according to your level number. As you can see, it's one, two, three, four, and so on. If you're not a beginner, you can know how to name this in code. And also you can know how to name the numbers in the buttons with code. So that just by taking the name of the node itself and just passing the text to the name of the node in the script. So on the ready, that will just be like funk underscore um, underscore ready. We can just say um, for i in levels, okay, levels dot get underscore children. Then we just say level, okay, no, let's say i dot name, sorry, dot text, text will be equal to i dot name. So what this is going to do is actually going to give the text here, like for example, put this one as, let's say, or, or if you don't even give it anything at all, um, this guy will be like six. It's going to when you run it, it's going to rearrange everything and just place it nicely. You still see one, two, three, and four. So yeah, that's how to name it in code if you have the same numbers here. So the reason why I'm doing this, um, the same numbers here is because if I kind of want to duplicate this guy, it's going to automatically give it a five. And if you're renaming its code, it's automatically rename this guy's five. So yeah, that would, that would actually be really cool and yeah, it would be nice. So what we want to do now is. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Okay, so we have our normal grid. So what we want to do is another thing we want to do is we want to name all your levels um, a particular name, then one, two, three, four. So in my case, I chose game one, game two, game three, game four. So you can also change this to um, let's say level one, level two, level three, and all that stuff. But just make sure you have this um, one type of naming convention. So and make sure all of them are in one folder. Okay, so mine is just on the root. So yeah, that we go. So let's start by going to the ready function. Actually, before that, you have to get an autoloader script. So I just made a new script that inherits the node, and you go out to project autoload and just search for that script, add it, and put, click on this add button here. So mine is global and it's global the GD, and this is it. So we're going to be having two variables here. So the first variable is going to be, um, let's say, let's say levels, levels, okay, and it's going to be an array. So uh, on the norm, I don't like manual stuff. I don't want to actually give this a 1, 2, 3, 4, and the rest. So we're going to actually be doing this again in code. We're going to be given the number of levels that we have. Okay, we're going to be putting it in this variable and we're going to be putting it here in the level script. So the next thing, the next variable we want to have is var on lock. Okay, unlocked um, levels. I don't know if I'm using camel case here, but anyways, it's okay. So unlocked levels is going to be equal to 1 by default. And that's just because the first level is going to be unlocked by default. If you don't want the first level to be unlocked by default, you can just pass a zero here, but I'm going to choose a one. So that will be cool. And now we go to our levels script. So we're going to say com underscore ready on the ready function. We're going to say if, sorry, we're going to say for, I, I don't actually know what's passing here. I'll just say for i in levels. Okay, no, it's going to be a range, a okay, range function, range. And it's going to be levels dot get underscore child count. I'm going to tell you what this is after I finish typing it. Okay. So here I'm just going to say global dot levels dot append append. Okay. And we're going to append i plus one. So if you're if you understand what this is, you can just give the video like 10 more seconds and yeah, it's be cool. So here we have four i in range. So the range is actually going to give us a number between zero and the number we put in here. So we have levels that get child count, and it's going to get the number of children, that's the number of levels um, practically. It's going to get the number of levels we have, 
and it's going to append each level to this global the levels okay we're going to have to append each level to this so here in after we run the game just see um it's just be one two um two three four and so on to the number of levels that we have but right now it's empty because we made it so so it's going to append each um actually why we're adding plus one is because the first time it's going to look i is going to be zero so we just want to say zero plus one which will be equal to one so that we can have a one two three and we don't because we don't have level zero that'll just be awkward okay so that's that's what we need another thing we need so what we want to do now is we want to make this guy um make the levels that we've entered um disabled and enabled so if you noticed um some levels were disabled at the start of the game then that's because we haven't unlocked those levels yet so this is actually going to be our lock system we're going to be using for loops again if you don't know how for loop works, I'm not going to be so um going deep in it right now. But in I'll leave a link in the description to a video that will teach you how to use the range, um the for loops, um literally almost everything in red. Okay, so it's going to teach you all that. Um, link will be in the description. So yeah, we're going to use another for loop. We're going to say for level in levels levels dot get underscore children. So if you know what this is, it's going to give it's going to return a an array of the number of uh, no not the number of all the children in this level okay we're gonna return an array of all the children so we're gonna say if level dot again um if level dot name is in range of go all dot on locked levels plus one again I'm going to explain this in a second so we just pass so yeah it, what this is going to do is, um, sorry, this is not meant to be random range, it's meant to be range. Okay, so what, what this is going to do is going to check for the current level that we're in. So if the level is this um, level 1 here, it's going to pass in level 1. So we're going to check level 1 that name if the name is in the range of this number. As I said before, range, what it does is just if it, if it returns a list of numbers from 0 to um, this particular number. For example, if we just copy this, control C. Um, let's say we just paste it here, okay, and we just want to print it. So if you try to print it, you're gonna run this. You're gonna see that it prints zero and one. So it returns a list of numbers between global um it, between this value plus one, which is one plus one, which is two, and zero. So it returns zero and one, not including two. So we're gonna be checking if the name of this. I'm just gonna close that. So we're going to check if the name of this is inside that range, okay? So in our case now, it's inside the range. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that um, that particular node with um, disable. We're going to turn it off. So we're just going to say level dot disable equals to false, okay? So we don't want it to be disabled. By default, it's actually false, but I'm just doing this for um, doing sake. Okay, so it's actually essential. I'm not sure anyways, but you just have to do it. So now that we've disabled the button. That would be good, and I'm I'm gonna add something here, but I'm gonna add it later anyways. So else, so if we're not in that range, then what do we want to do? So else, see level dot actually it's just gonna be the inverse of this. Okay, so we're just gonna copy this, control C, and just paste it here. Okay, so I change this to true. So if we our name is in the range, then we make it false. If our name is in not, we make it true. But the thing is, this is actually a string. Okay, and this is a value. So level the name is actually a string. It's gonna be the name of this guy, which is gonna be coming as a string. So what we want to do is to change that to um an a value, an integer. No, actually not an integer, but a value, a variable. Let me say it like that, a variable. So we're gonna say string to var. Okay, use that function and just enclose it in this string. Okay, when you enclose it in this string, it's gonna change this string to this to a variable, and it can now work with this range function. So we can try it by hitting F5. Hopefully you're gonna see that um okay I have to still go rename this. So you're gonna see that this guy is not um is not disabled, you can click it, but these other ones are and that's because our current level right now is one. Okay. So if you change this to like E3 and I'm gonna just change this real quick. Okay, hit F5. And yeah, you can see that we have these three buttons here. We can click the three of them. I mean this four of them. So actually in my game, when you hit this guy, um you go to the next level. So in that code, whenever you touch the player, you're just gonna add global dot unlock levels to plus equals to plus equals one. So yeah, that will that work um nicely. So and also we want it to change this thing to the next level. Actually, I'm gonna do that later, but not now. So now we have um our levels to disable and enable themselves. 
So the next thing we want to do is to actually change the scene to that level. So what we're going to do is, so actually we're going to make a function. And since we don't want to have a, um, the same pressed for all these buttons, you can actually um, connect this one by one, but we don't want to do that. We want to have only one function that will operate all the buttons for us. For example, if you have about 100 levels, you won't want to be connecting these guys one by one. So we're going to have one function that will do that for us. So here where you see um, when we have our, that means we've selected a level that is good. Okay, so this level has been entered and has been unlocked. Let me see. So, so here we're going to say level dot connect. So we're going to connect the press signal press, and we're going to connect it to ourselves, and we're going to connect it to a function. I don't, I don't actually know what this function will be. Um, let's just say um, change or let's just say yeah change underscore level. So the change level function is what we're going to set here. So say funk change underscore level. Okay. So we're going to pass that for now. So as you can see, we have our press signal, and for each button, if we, if the button is has been unlocked, okay. So that's what this code is basically doing. Um, if the button has been unlocked, then we want to connect. It. Actually, we can connect all the buttons, but we don't want to like waste our time um, connecting buttons that are not unlocked. That would just be a waste of time. So just connect the ones that are locked. And yeah, we're going to connect the press signals. Again, we don't want to say um, something like get underscore tree dot change scene, and we don't want to get a particular scene. Okay, we want to get different scenes according to the levels. So all we're going to do is we're going to be given this an extra variable. If we connect something like um, this button's press, you can see that it doesn't have any variable in it. But we're going to be making we're going to be using our own variable, just the way your um, normal functions are. So we're going to make a variable in here that will just be called let me say um, level level underscore number okay so level number is what we're going to be using to change different levels but well, actually it's connecting from here so we're going to put a comma here and put um this square brackets around it and it's just going to pass in level dot name so this is this is basically connecting the press signal okay but it's going to attach one variable to the end of it so and that is level number you're att attaching so right now it's going to um, attach the level dot name. So in this case it can be one, it can be two, it can be three, and so on. And that's actually the reason why we have game one, game two, game three, game four. So that we can just easily say change scene. We're going to change scene to our game. Okay. We just hit game the TSCN. But here since we want to go to a particular um a particular place um a particular scene, we're going to put um we're just going to close this half and close the other half, and we're just going to attach the level number string to it okay, so just a plus level number and what is that is going to do hopefully is it's going to get this level dot name and pass it in here okay we're going to say game whatever this is it can be one okay so if it's, if it's one say game one if it's two say game two that's yes yeah and that will work nicely hopefully so um i think we're done okay now this area 2d what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this ctrl c and paste it here ctrl v Okay, tab. okay, so instead of level number here, we're just going to say global dot unlocked level. Fine. So if you don't know what this is, um, that's actually an assignment. You can go think about it and see how it works. But um, it's just going to take you to the next thing. That's all we have to know now. So we're just going to hit F5 and see how this works. We have a safe and load system to work on fine also. Um, why these three levels are open already is because here in our global, we forgot to set this back to one. So we're just going to do that. And now we have only one level open. So you can do this, um, actually set it where when I press the enter key, it's okay, we have a problem. Oh yeah, the problem is we, um, this actually is meant to be a string. So we're just going to change it to a string real quick. So you just put the string variable in front of it so that I can turn this value, this number here into a string. I'm going to hit F5 again. And I'm going to level 1, I'm going to scroll past this really fast. Okay, we've gone to the next level. And if you press enter, you see that level 2 is unlocked. Okay, you can come back here, go to level 3. Um, yep, you can see that level 3 is now unlocked, remaining level 4. So we can just go back, as you can see, 3 hollows, okay, 3 spaces there. And yeah, level 4 is now unlocked. So that's how um, that's easy to make your level system. So that's really cool. Please subscribe and actually smash subscribe. And also, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments um, or go on my Discord and I'll be happy to help you there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, links in the description below. See you guys next time and goodbye.